There was no Facebook, no Twitter, no Google Street View. Phones weren't smart. The cloud was something that threatened picnic plans, and predictive analytics was largely the domain of tarot card readers. I'd like to quickly remind my colleagues about two simple and easy ways in C-475 to increase protection of the privacy of Canadians' information. First of all, under the bill, the commissioner would have to be informed immediately by organizations whenever there was a violation of privacy that might harm users. Experts evaluate the seriousness of the situation and would recommend whether or not the organization should inform affected users. This mechanism would provide for an objective analysis of the risk and provide for better risk management thanks to heightened security expectations. It wouldn't be a subjective analysis based on the interests of the businesses in question. Moreover, the objective risk analysis would guarantee that they wouldn't be bombarded by notices about lost data and that don't affect them or if they are very low risk. In this way, the structure would assure users that they wouldn't be bombarded by useless notices. This process would give citizens back the power to take measures to protect themselves more quickly and to reduce the harm that might be caused. The second mechanism provided for in my bill would give the Office of the Privacy Commissioner the power to issue orders when an organization is not complying with the law. And uh, finally, the federal court, on it for its part, would uh, be able to issue penalties. These mechanisms are simple and they clarify the area of jurisdiction of the Office. In uh, sum, the office would have the power to make sure that the legislation is complied with, which is not the case right now. Currently, there are too often recommendations that the office cannot have respected. And uh, at the heart of the development of this bill are the concerns of Canadians and the, the stakeholders from the digital industry, civil liberty associations, internet specialists, and others, and who we heard from at the Ethics Committee during the study on social media. C-475 responds directly to what the stakeholders were asking for, and taking into account our digital era by protect and also protecting the role of the Ombudsman. This bill, therefore, has a very balanced approach, contrary to what my colleagues across said last May. Last October, the Commissioner and the um, ombudsman to uh, the privacy commissioner rather and uh, her counterparts at the federal provincial territorial level met in vancouver for their annual general assembly and they voted in favor of revolutions of resolutions to reform these measures that are a key part of my bill these measures follow recommendations put forward by commissioner stoddart last may intended to modernize pipeta in order to strengthen the enforcement powers in the Act, as well as the ability of the Commissioner to issue orders when there is some data breach. The bill is balanced towards businesses because the clarity of their roles and the process allows us to, uh, to provide for policies and actions. The, uh, Commissioner, they will have to report to the Commissioner, but they won't have the responsibility to decide on the final level of risk. Finally, this bill allows us to come to the same uh, standard level as countries such as Germany, Great Britain, Australia, and France, and even provinces like Quebec and Alberta. Canada, as a world leader in technology, has to have international standards. A study revealed last April by the Privacy Commissioner and carried out in all regions of the country revealed that 97% of Canadians want to be informed of any uh, data breaches that involve their personal information. 80% of them also would like to see the office have more power. And these principles were uh, supported and they are in my bill. 
they were asked for by the industry, by defense or civil liberty organizations, academics, and also uh, organizations devoted to protecting consumers, and even the ombudsman's, uh, ombudsman who met uh, last fall. They, uh, the, in last fall, consultations carried out in the West also supported my bill. And the Consumers Union said that the, through this bill to uh, update PIPEDA would better protect consumers. Michael Geist, who is the Canada Research Chair in Internet Law at the University of Ottawa and a recognized expert, said that Bill C-45 is a much better pro proposal because its provisions would assure greater respect for Canadian privacy law. It would ensure that Canadians are uh, informed about data breaches when it involves their personal information. My colleagues across a few years ago tabled a bill to modernize PIPEDA. I don't know, therefore, that they share my concerns in terms of the Canadians' privacy. Moreover, in the speech from the throne last week, they also reiterated their wish to defend consumers' rights, which is a very, sen a very sensitive part of which is pr privacy. However, Bill C-12 did not go through all the, all the steps, and in today it doesn't represent uh, the reality and our respond to our current needs. It died on the order of paper following the prorogations. My bill is more up to date, and it's the only one on the table. So I urge my colleagues across the way to reconsider their support for Bill C-475, not only because it meets the needs of citizens and the current uh, oversight organizations, but because uh, reevaluating the old law would take months, if not years. The people need to be protected now, and they need to have confidence in businesses as well as in our institutions. Canada already shows poorly internationally in terms of protection of privacy, and these costly and increasing attacks um, mean that we just cannot wait any further. As she said so well last uh, October 9th, Jennifer Stoddard, Canada's Privacy Commissioner, said, and I quote, We live in a world where technologies are evolving at lightning speed and organizations are using our personal information in ways previously unimaginable, creating new risks for our privacy. Our laws need to keep up. Canadians expect and deserve modern, effective laws to protect their right to privacy. And uh, I'm pleased to uh, speak to Private Members Bill C-475 as presented by my honourable colleague from across the aisle. C-475 proposes to amend the Personal Information Protection and Electronic Documents Act, known as PEPIDA, a law that has been in place for over a decade. PEPIDA has proven its value and retained its relevance in the face of unprecedented technological change. At its core, PEPIDA gives individuals control over whether and how their personal information can be collected used or disclosed during commercial activity. This protection fosters trust and confidence in the online marketplace, an important part of the Canadian economy that is growing by leaps and bounds. Mr. Speaker, the government is committed to updating PEPIDA. In fact, the Minister of Industry met with the Privacy Commissioner only yesterday. However, any changes that are proposed should have been discussed thoroughly with business, consumer advocates and academics or fall within the framework of the existing legislation, as was the case with the former Bill C-12. The proposed new measures put forward in Bill C-475 were not. The proposed amendments in C-475 give the Privacy Commissioner new powers and present a major change to Pepita and the role of the Commissioner. The impact of such a change on all stakeholders has not been considered. The Privacy Commissioner's role, as defined in Pepita, is to serve as an ombudsman, a role which she has performed impressively to the great benefit of Canadians. Indeed, the Commissioner has been internationally recognized and applauded for her success. It was in rec recognition of this that her term was extended for three years in 2010. As the Commissioner's term enters its final months, the government is pleased to have this opportunity to express its gratitude for the Commissioner's dedication to the protection of the privacy of Canadians. Let us begin by highlighting some of the successes so far, Mr. Speaker. PEPIDA's ombudsman model has proven very successful in setting a high standard for the protection of personal information in Canada. 
Capita allows for mediated solutions to privacy conflicts that, give that can give both individuals and companies a clear understanding of their rights and responsibilities. A less formal dispute resolution mechanism is far less intimidating for individuals and is easier for them to navigate. Capita's current oversight and redress regime reflects a deliberate decision by Parliament to adopt a mechanism that avoids litigation when resolving privacy disputes. Pepita also provides the Privacy Commissioner with a range of powers to address privacy issues. She can investigate, enter premises, premises and compel evidence. She can mediate a settlement, make recommendations, publish the names of those who contravene Pepita, and take matters to the federal court. Bill C-475 would give the Privacy Commissioner new quasi-judicial enforcement powers. Unfortunately, this enforce the enforcement regime proposed by the Private Members Bill is fraught with procedural failings. As my colleagues will note, the bill contains a list of consequences for non-compliance. This includes a monetary penalty of up to $500,000, a very significant amount, Mr. Speaker. But should penalties imposed on small firms be as large as those of multinationals? Unfortunately, the bill completely overlooks this matter. The size of the firm or its ability to bear the burden of monetary penalty is apparently not a factor to be considered. Given the potential severity of the monetary penalty, it is also puzzling to observe that this particular remedy only applies to a failure to comply with orders, Mr. Speaker. Indeed, organizations that have been found to willfully violate the privacy of individuals, including those that have profited significantly from the violation, are not subject to this penalty. They are only penalized if they failed to change their ways after having been caught. There are many outstanding issues and questions with respect to the enforcement measures that are being proposed in Bill 475. Pepita already provides the federal court with the ability to provide any remedy it deems appropriate, including orders to correct practices, award damages, or order offending parties to publish a notice of corrective action. Clearly, Pepita establishes a comprehensive process for taking action against privacy violations. Businesses, both large and small, together with individuals, have found much success in the resolution of their disputes. We must ask then, how are the proposed enforcement measures going to affect the level of cooperation that exists between organizations subject to Pepita and the Privacy Commissioner? Would the enforcement regime of Bill C-475 change the current dynamic between organizations subject to Pepita and the Commissioner, making the parties more adversarial and, pro and the process counterproductive? These are questions that cannot be taken lightly. Finally, Mr. Speaker, the implications of these new powers on the structure and resources of the Privacy Commissioner's Office do not seem to have been considered during the drafting of Bill C-475. The new powers would place undue burden on personnel within the Privacy Commissioner's Office. One cannot simply add new enforcement powers to a law without a thorough study and consideration of the impact on its existing oversight regime or on its regulator. Mr. Speaker, we cannot support Bill C-475. There are too many omissions and fundamental questions left unanswered in this bill. So I commend uh, the member for uh, bringing forward this bill. Uh, and it does two small measures. Uh, it talks about uh, reporting uh, for the loss or disclosure of unauthorized access to information, personal information, whereas reasonable person will conclude there exists some possible risk, they'd have to notify the commissioner. Uh, is one part, and the other part is giving the Commissioner some actual teeth to dig in and find when personal information is lost. Uh, and we're, we, as a, as a government, is, are falling way behind the rest of the world when it comes to protecting people's privacy. And uh, I find it comical when the, the, uh, the, uh, the Parliamentary Secretary says, Pepita has kept its relevance. Well, since 2001, and, and I'm going to quote Commissioner Stoddard here when it talks about uh, keeping its relevance. And this is a quote from the, uh, the Commissioner. Back in 2001 when Pepita began coming into force, and even when I became the Privacy Commissioner in 2003, there was no Facebook, no Twitter, no Google Street View, phones weren't smart, the cloud was something that threatened picnic plans, and predictive analytics was largely the domain of tarot card readers. So you know, a lot has changed in, since 2001, and our Pepita legislation just hasn't kept up with it. So this is a good first start. Uh, it'll give uh, the, the Commissioner 
uh, more powers, more enforcement powers. Uh, currently, right now, the commissioner uh, can only uh, can only publicly shame uh, a company uh, for breaching uh, Pepita. Uh, and it's time for this commissioner to have the strong enforcement powers that that is needed. Um, and some and some of that may have been contained in the government's bill of C12, but we, that bill hasn't seen the light of day. So this bill is with us now. It's something that we should need to refer to committee. Uh, and we need to update our privacy laws, and we will be supporting that.